today we are going to see part 2 of uh, space shooter game so it's going to be interesting today that we are actually going to add much more improvements to the game and uh, let's go to the code.org first And I have signed in. Let's go to my projects. And this is what we created yesterday. Let's open it. So yeah, this is what we have created yesterday. And uh, uh, we have to today. We are gonna do something amazing. That uh, we are actually gonna add flame to it. So when we shoot it, there should be a flame appearing and also the spaceship should destroy. And uh, let's keep something, uh, uh, let's do something cool like that. So that will be amazing. And uh, first of all, we need an animation. Let's go to add new animation and upload image. So I have already downloaded an image. So yeah, here it is and I'm going to rename it as fire. So yeah, and I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle or square like thing over here. And uh, let's actually crop it into a square. So when you click the delete button, the cropped area will be gone. So yeah, now that's it. We have the animation here. Let's now create a variable for the flame. Flame equals create sprite 400, 400. 20 sorry let's give it as 400 comma 400 so now let's see the size of it so 415 to 253 it's too much big so the thing is we have to change the things uh, scale it into the proper size and the x and y position should be different so let's create a function function flame let's give it flame one because it should not clash with the sprite name so yeah, before that let's set the animation for it flame dot set animation So the animation is actually frame and that's it. We have set the animation over there and here next we have to scale it. Scale 0.3 will be fine I guess. I'm not sure about this. Let's test it. Before that let's make you this. So yeah, now let's run the program. Why are we getting this error? Unable to find animation. So we have named it as fire. Let's change it. Flame. Yeah. Now let's run it. So here we can see. So we have to scale it around 0.1. Let's run it again. Why is... Sorry, we have, have not... I forgot to scale it. Flame dot. So it's not a function. Let's go to sprite. So 
over here it is sprite dot scale so flame dot scale let's again drag and drop so I forgot to give the equals let's again close it equal now let's run the program so it's too much small let's uh, around 0 0.5 no, around 0 0.4 will be fine, I guess. So, yeah, this is fine for the spaceship. So, let's move it outside the arena. Around 500. Now, let's run it. Yeah, it's outside. Next, inside function flame, we have to add our code. So, here we have to write an if condition if or else we don't need the function flame i guess let's just close it and we can just give it inside the if condition which we have already created yesterday mm. yeah it's here if uh, the bullet dot is touching we have to give first of enemy so the enemy is not possible to destroy so we are actually gonna place a fire over it or something like that let's try doing that so because the, it is stored in a single group enemy group so it is uh, not possible to destroy it so here we are going to give place sound yeah place sound now we don't need this i guess yeah we can just change the sound as burst let's check it fire burning noise let's just reload it yeah, I have found the best sound for our project. Choose sound, fire, yeah, 8 bit explosion. Let's choose this. Now let's run it. So, yeah, now the fire animation should display over it. So where is it? Yeah, it's here. So we have to set uh, flame dot x position and y position. Flame dot x is equal to sorry bullet dot x. Let's move it over here because it should form before the bullet is destroyed. So once again, flame dot sorry flame dot x. Now it sh the condition is y. So flame dot y equals. dot y now let's run the program so we have to destroy the frame
so yeah we have to get the destroy thing over here let's go to destroy flame dot destroy now let's run the program so it is destroying too fast so i have found that uh, how to add a delay function so for that you have to give set timeout open the bracket and inside it you have to give function double bracket and this bracket just hit enter and move down and open a curly bracket and here you have, we have to give flame dot destroy So yeah, flame dot destroy and close it. And next, let's uh, give the timeout. Just give comma and give let's give two thousand five hundred milliseconds and just close it. I think so. We should not. We have should not close it here. We should close the curly bracket over here. And just enter comma. Yeah, now let's test it. So the frame is being displayed, and after two two thousand five hundred milliseconds, it is being uh, off. So, but it runs only once because we have given the destroy command. Before that, before setting the x and y, we have to add a flame. So flame equals. Let's reset it. Create sprite and open the curly. Open the bracket and close the bracket. Let's do bullet dot x comma bullet dot y comma. Sorry for bullet dot y comma. Let's give the size fifty comma fifty and uh, scale dot. Sorry, flame dot scale equals zero point four. Let's run the program. So a new sprite is being created. Let's set the animation. Flame dot set animation. Flame and just close it. Now let's run it. So two two things are being created, and one is destroyed after 2.5 seconds, and another is not destroyed. So let's try giving a, in another way. Over here, let's just slash the slash it out, and let's do flame, and just go down. Yeah, and here let's slash it out, slash it out, and let's give variable. Now let's try it. Yeah, it is being displayed. Yeah, and after two point five seconds, it is being uh, off. Now let's scale it into the proper size. It is too small. Let's scale it around 0.3. It's good, but we have to add the. But let's use 0.2 and try. Yeah, it's good, but we have to adjust it. Uh, adjust the x and y position. Position. 
so bullet dot x and plus 20 now let's try so we have to sub minus 20 i think the x is minus 5 will be enough for x and for y let's give minus 20 and now let's try so we have to move its light right side which is that we have to increase some x so let's add it minus 1 or else the, let the x be same position and now it's amazing and proper but here it is not proper So in some frames it is not proper, so we have to adjust it. So I think scaling it much bigger will be proper, will solve our problem. 3.5, sorry 3.5. Three, yeah, I think this solves our problem. In any extreme corner, it, uh, the frame is appearing. But the delay should be much lesser. Let's try 100,000. Now let's run it again. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think it looks fine now. So, uh, next, uh, let's see what are the upgrades like we can do to the game. And let's just check it out. I think the flame can destroy much quicker around 400 milliseconds let's try it because it looks awkward when it is when more time is given yeah it's good so let's see what can we do next so next we are actually going to do a big thing that now we have created the animation and done it inside a group uh, and uh, it is multiple things are created and there is no specific name for each of the animation so now what we are going to do is just uh, create uh, eight of the animations by each variable and do it so let's do it let's uh, create a new function so we are just going to replace the function, uh, let's reset it, so we are actually going to replace the function enemy, so here let's go enemy 2, so let's uh, delete that function later and now let's check out, let's create a thing, a random variable, let's give another uh, ran 3, variable ran 3 equals random number x sorry random number and the starting number is uh, let's give it our own uh, the x position and y position which we have already given so here is here it is the x position 5200 for the first one let's give the same thing so x is so for y let's create for y no need for x 
so for the y position what are we given that uh, the from for the first row we have given a uh, rand y around 50 to 110 so let's give the same thing over here so for the x position i have an idea that uh, let's create a new variable at the top variable i equals let's uh, give 60 for the first one yeah okay let's give 60 so random yeah y should be a 50 comma 110 and let's just close it yeah and let, we are going to create another one random variable that uh, sp or let's keep it a uh, name sp or equals random number so from starting from oops sorry we don't need this let's uh, just create it in the top over here before the function ra i and uh, variable yes equals one let's give so yeah here we can give variable let's give for loop for let's go to control yeah this thing let's get the syntax so yeah for a uh, first value so first value should be one in my case and i should be less than uh, i should be less than four yeah it's so let's you less than seven five will be okay i plus plus so now we have to do variable sprite or else let's give enemy e and e let's give because we already have the name enemy used and uh, variable enemy so I think it's not the correct way. Let's try putting the for loop uh, inside the function, uh, in above the function ra. I'm not sure that it will work or not. No, we can put it inside the function ra. For loop n i. comma equals yeah okay so before that let's test on another one thing that uh, we have named it yes let's slash this out Yes equals n i. Now let's give the command console log. N has be declared. Let's give it in double quotes. Yeah, now let's go to console log. and try logging the yes now let's run it so we have to delete this i guess
so yeah here you can see enemy 1 2 3 and 4 let's let me show you again clear it yeah now here you can see enemy 1 2 3 4 and there is some yeah this is what we need we are gonna name the variable like this so let's now give variable d e and e plus i equals create sprite Create sprite 400 comma 400. So we are getting an error. <laughs> So we have to manually create a variable for that let's remove the for loop let's go here and create variable any one equals create sprite so let's give this is just a rough 250, 250, 10 or 50, 50 and just you enter and now it's time for us to copy it. So let's put uh, 8 of them. Yeah, now let's rename it as uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So let's move it outside the arena. 5, 5. So yeah, so it is defined and not called in your program. Let's call it so here let's create a random number for the x so y position. Just click enter e and e one dot y equals so it should be equal to rand let's copy and paste it four times yeah four times and uh, let's do it two three four yeah now next let's create another one variable variable rand four equals random number starting and ending so it should start from let's get the reference from the enemy starting from 150 to ending at 200 150 and ending at 200 yeah, now it will generate the next Y question of, let's just paste it four times, yeah. And here, let's give four, sorry, five, six, seven, and eight. So, that's it. Here we have created, uh, set the Y position. Next, it's time to set the X position. So, 
Here we have created the variable yes. Let's change it as uh, x position. So the x position should be adding by 60. So the initial should be 60 because we, uh, before we have set the frames as uh, 60. So next uh, we have to give an if condition. Let's move the x outside the arena. Yeah, it's already outside the arena. And uh, enemy en1 dot x equals yes. Next uh, en2 en2 dot x should be equal to yes plus 60. The next is let's just copy and paste this six times six more times. You me. So now let's give it a 120. Yeah, 120. 180, 240, 300, 360. Oh no, we should we don't need this. So after the fifth one, sorry, P, four, five. 6 and 7 and 8. This is 2. So here after the fourth one, we have to give yes plus 20. And next, yes plus uh, 80. Yeah, next, yes plus uh, 140. Yes, plus 180. So, yeah, here we, it's good now. Now, let's uh, go to the enemy over here. I think we don't need it. Let's call it again. Uh, yeah, let's uh, hash it out and let's call the en e and e and by enemy two. So is it enemy two? Yeah. Now let's run it. We are getting an error. So we can't figure out what is s. So we have the x yes over here. Yeah. Oh, we have changed it into x. So we have to change it into x. So yeah, now let's run it. So we are getting some error. Let's check what it is. So we did set the animation. Let's create another random variable. Rand, uh, rand a random animation equals variable random animation equals random animation plus sorry random animation random number 
starting from 1 and ending at 6. So, enemy 1 dot set animation. So, it should be e and e1 dot set animation. Enemy plus or a n d a. Let's hit enter. See, sorry. Let's copy it. Let's try putting it in for loop for. So the starting value should be 1 and the ending value should be 5, 4. Let's give 5 because 1, 2, 4. And here, let's give it E and E. Uh, plus I. Now let's run it. Let's see. Let's give it in double quotes. Now let's run it. So I dot set animation is not a function. I dot set animation is not a function. Let's create a variable em variable let's name it as any equals e n e plus i yeah now here let's view so for loop cannot be used in this thing so let's do it manually let's hit enter yeah so I have done it 10 times. Now let's give it any one, any two. Let's just copy any e paste. Another one should be created. Please make sure that object exists. So let's check over here. Oops, we have to give it in double quotes. Yeah. So multiple things has been created.
तो नेट एनिमी सिक्स प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट द नेम एक्सेस लेट्स मेक श्योर नो अंटिल एनिमी फोर इज ओनली एक्सेस सो वी हैव टू गिव फोर नाउ लेट्स रन इट सो वी आर गेटिंग अ एरर लेट्स सी हाउ टू रेक्टिफाई इट so i found the problem that it is uh, again and again looping uh, again and again so here uh, it is uh, not uh, in the exact position it is not proper that it is looping again and again because we have put in the we have called the function inside the function uh, draw so let's slash it out so where is it yeah over Yeah, over here. Let's just slash it, slash it out and go to the function setup. And here I have called it once again. Uh, I have called it before the function draw. Let me show you. Yeah, here I have called it. Now let's run the program. So yeah, here you can see that uh, now it is uh, coming in the correct position, but the Random position is running only once, and here you can see that it's both are touching because I have done a mistake for 200. I have given it as 180. So here, let's give it as 200. Yeah, now it is not touching, and uh, and the next thing is that uh, we are going to just call this again and again. control c so after each function let's call it let's change the variable so now let's run it so different animation random animation has been set to each thing now the same thing should we have to do for the yeah, for the position y position so yeah and let's copy the second row of thing yeah that's it now let's again do it so it's in random position now it looks good and also let's increase the x position by let's increase it by 75 so next 150 over here and over here let's give it so here instead of 150 let's increase it by 155 and here let's give it by 200 and around 240 or 235 240 will be fine yeah here 300 so, no here we have to add it by so 95 next 140 and next uh, 250 and over here 300 now let's reset it and run it again so now it is in a out position and this thing we have to change it so let it start from yeah over here 95 let's move it to 60 now let's run it yeah i think it's good and let's move it like slight left just let's give 220 Yeah, I think this is fine now. So the next thing is uh, the bullet is ready, and next thing is the same thing which we have done yesterday. That when it touches, it should uh, animation should display the uh, sound should display uh, sound should play. Let's do those things. So here after we don't need the this thing, this both. 
so let's move it outside an enemy group is also not needed I think the whole enemy function is not needed so yeah let's reset it and play yeah I think it's the boat are gonna touch over here so for that let's change the random variable 52 I think it's not a problem so let's leave it and here in the if condition uh, inside the function draw over here enemy group so before that we do, we don't need the enemy group so let's remove it yeah and we also don't need Yeah, that's it. Everything is fine now. And this, let's change it into enemy one. E and E one. Let's go to show text. So let's now play it. So as you can see, it's working fine with the E and E1. So let's uh, scale it and do this for everything. So 0.15 will be fine, I guess. So I think 0.18, let's test it. 0.22 yeah it's good now so now instead of the bullet dot uh, x it should where is it yeah instead of bullet dot x let's do enemy dot x e n e 1 dot x e n e 2 dot x dot y minus 1t is not needed now let's do it so yeah it looks good now now let's open notepad and just copy this code from here to here and paste it in notepad let's go to full screen yeah here i have pasted it now I have to go to edit find so I'm changing it to one find cannot find one that's you wrap around so I have find there are many the this thing this thing so this should be changed by s so since we have given enemy two let's give enemy one where is it? Yeah, we have given two. Let's give one. So now let's go to edit. Let's go to replace one with two. Replace all. Let's copy this. Let's add a function else. Else space and just pasting it. Let's go to show blocks. So here the else if is being added, and also we have to change one thing over here. Yeah, it's actually one, and it has been changed to two. Now let's go back to it. 
let's do let's do replace all and before that let's add else to it else and just change this to one copy it and paste it so once again the same thing for replace all one copy paste and there are how much enemies yeah just four ties yeah four ties but eight should be created like this let's see now we are at enemy two why are we seeing this So we have done something wrong. Let's control Z, 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 Z. So yeah, now we are at the starting thing. So yeah, now let's just copy. Yeah, this is so fine. And now let's we want to change two to three. Let's say no first. Let's copy this and paste it. After this, with the else. And now we have to change this to one. Yeah, and here the music. This is already one. Yeah. Now let's go to Notepad and replace all. And this should be one. Let's copy it, paste it. Now once again, three to four. Replace all. Copy. Paste and again four to five. So that's it. Now let's run the program. So we have not scaled it. Oops, this has been changing. So two 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 over here two 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 and that's it. Let's run it again. So it works fine, but over here, yeah, we have to change it into four again. Four, four, and four. So why is the sound not playing? So yeah, for MP3 we have to change this to MP3. So the format is different. MP3 and again over here MP3. I think that's it. Over here MP3 and that's it. Now let's run the program.
so yeah it works now let's uh, destroy the uh, spaceship so let's go to the let's go to block mode for this thing yeah over here after the time out the before the time out let's let's destroy destroy yeah E and E1. Let's copy the block. Copy. Let's go down over here. Let's paste it. E and E2. That's it. The next thing over here. So yeah, now let's test it out. So it works. So now instead of the score, let's change the score. Where is it? So yeah, the text is over here, but uh, it's too big. Uh, the if condition is too big, so let's put it inside an function. So it will be easy for us. So let's uh, copy until this CTRLC. And pay CTRL C or let's do CTRL X. Let's copy the both velocity also until the draw sprite. Yeah, until here. Let's cut it. So now it has become very small. Let's create another function with the name. Run or else let's give pay. Let's close it. Now let's place paste it. So, yeah, now the function draw is too, it's small and easy to understand for us. Let's hit enter. Or else after background, yeah, over here, let's put uh, the thing, play, let's call the function, and now let's run it. So, we are getting an error, let's cut it. Yeah. So, it works. So the next thing is we are going to create a game state. So it's a new concept. 
that we have to assign a variable game state equals so the starting game state should be play p l a y yeah or else let's give it as a shoot yeah double quotes is not required so let's remove it so here we have to give shoot equals or else let's give it in double quotes that's fine yeah now inside the function draw oops ctr lex we have to do it before the function draw over here yeah now inside the function draw we have to give an if condition if sorry this if uh, game state equals 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 shoot then the thing should happen this should execute play should execute and next let's copy it and paste it over here yeah so next thing that we need to do is that uh, we have to change another thing over here inside the function play that uh, wherever we have given ene1 dot uh, destroy we have to give that ene1 dot x equals 500 and just let's copy it yeah and just paste it so i will say you in a while that why are we not destroying it and moving it outside So next over here, let's paste it, bullet.x, sorry, I have done a mistake over here, it's not bullet.x, it's enemy.x. So yeah, that's it. And now let's run the program. Yeah, everything works fine. And now we don't need the score thing. Instead, we can use number of bullets used. So, where have we given the text? Inside the function. Yeah, here it is. And now here. Number of Let's reset it. Bullets 
used yeah now it's good now let's run it we have to move it somewhat left around 0 sorry 25 will be good I guess no let's give it 50 no 100 let's move it slight left 80 I think this is fine and let's leave a space between the zero and this yeah this looks cool and the next thing is we have to the place where we have given score plus so where is it yeah we have to delete this from everywhere so yeah i have deleted it from everywhere and now go to the beginning and uh, change the score name score to bullet or n o n o bullet number of bullet so that's it now we have to go to the if condition the space yeah, over here creating a new bullet and here you have to give N O bullet dot sorry N O bullet is equal to N O bullet plus one. Now let's run it. So we are getting an error. So yeah over here where is it inside the play function yeah over here let's do slash star star slash so when you give the slash star and star slash you can actually uh, uh, cut a paragraph something like five or more than one line you can uh, Hash it. So it will be easy. Another thing. So where is there? Yeah, it's here. So plus Yenvo bullet. Now let's run it. So yeah. So whenever I shoot the number of bullet increases. So it's good now. Let's go to the next step. So next we are going to add an if condition again. So before that let's go to yeah over here if and inside if you are gonna give game state equals 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 shoot And, and so and and so if the game state is zero and uh, and uh, game 
again see the shoot and then next over here where is it see the play yeah this thing let's copy it and paste it and enemy 1.x is equal to 500 and then enemy 2.x so we have to remove this let's copy it let's copy it with the Anderson Yeah, now let's paste it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, this is 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, That's it. We have to change the game state. Equals end. So now let's test it. We are be getting this error once again. So inside if you have to give triple equals, let's try that if it solve our problem. Now let's run the program. Even now we are getting an error. So yeah, it's a small yes. Now let's run it. So yeah, now it has been stopped. So we have to set the velocity of the background bg dot velocity set velocity x equals zero. Let's run it. So it's not moving. And or else let's set it at bg dot set animation. Bg. Let's run it. So yeah, that's it, but it is not working. Let's see why. So I have found the way to solve the problem. We have to give a command bg.set velocity bracket. So first we have to give the x velocity comma space the y velocity. Now let's test it.
yeah it works now and uh, the next thing is that we have to display the display the message that you want and let's go here can we just create the animation for it no we don't need it let's do the text or else let's give a background let's google it let's take a background or else let's even take a background from the code.org let's check do, that we have anything i think uh, we can keep something like this or like this let's take the rainbow one i think it looks nice or uh, let's go to the different page yeah let's take this thing 400 comma 400 i think it will be proper now we have to create a variable variable one bg one background equals create sprite with the x should be 200 y should be 200 400 so width should be 400 height should be 400 let's next let's set, set the animation on bg dot set animation to sun and rainbow one let's change it one bg w o n b g Let's change it here. W O N B G. Yeah, okay. W O N B G. Yeah. Next, we have to set the visibility. One B G dot visible. equals false let's move it on the bottom let's cut it ctrl x and yeah over here ctrl v so now over here we have to make it visible 1bg dot set visible sorry dot visible equals to dot visible equals to yeah now let's run it So yes, and the text should be disappearing. So for that, let's copy it or cut it. Z. Let's cut it and uh, put it inside a. here and let's put the draw sprite let's see the text is not visible so let's put the draw sprites 
put it here and just run it. Why is it not working? So yeah, we have to cut it again. And over here, let's paste it. Why is it not working again? CTRL X. Let's try putting it here. Um, CTRL X. I think this should be over there. So it's not working. So let's move it to the previous thing. Z, Z, Z. Z and Z Z Yeah So I think the number of bullets let it be visible Let's uh, do the next thing that uh, an if condition. Let's go to the let's create a function. Let's give it as a remark. Yeah, the remark thing. So what we are going to do is, um, if the bullet is 8, we have to say uh, the, uh, your performance is excellent. And uh, if it is uh, below, uh, if it is 10 or 8 or uh, 10, it should be in different, uh, you are, you are uh, good, very good, something like that. Let's do it. So if... N bullet equals 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 eight then that should be a text the string that is Excellent So excellent and over here space 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 number one Paras let's go in different thing. And uh, next, let's just hit enter. Sorry, we have to give, uh, give the attributes. Comma. So let's keep it around 200, comma It's not finished. No else if let's copy this. Equals nine or ten.
should display good and next the else if is a uh, equal to or more than 15 sorry if it is more than 11 and equal to or less than 15 so we are getting an error so i think this is not possible so we have to give more than 11 and and no bullet is less than or equal to 15 so yeah Now let's click enter, and the next is another final thing. Let's do average for this. And next, for for this, if it is. More than or equal to sixteen, then it should be poor. So let's call it poor. Here, where is it? Yeah, over here. So the name was remark. Let's run the program. Unexpected. So let's see why. So let's pass the program over here. So let's do slash star star slash. So now let's run it. Let's complete it in nine ten bullets. So yeah, but the text is not displaying because it is under the sprite. Try it in another way. Yeah, over. Here in the draw, so 
let's actually cut this and you put it after the this and now let's try let's try to complete it in eight minutes no the text is not being displayed So to fix this, we have to, we don't need the background, the one BG, this is not required and even here this is not required. And now what we are going to do is, we are going to set the visibility of everything to zero to false the visibility of no let not the visibility of player player dot set visible sorry player dot visible equals false So yeah, now what we have to do is in the play function play so where is it? Yeah, it's here. In the function play oh, this beginning. We have to do this player dot set visible equals true. Let's run it. Sorry, player dot visible. So this does tend to work. So for that, let's just copy this, cut this, and put it inside the over here. Now let's run it. So yeah, now it works. So we are going to do the same for other things too. Before that, let's put it over here. So next, bg. bg dot set visible equals false next pg dot visible equals true so yeah the next thing sorry bg1 dot set visible with false And the function play you have to set pg dot set visible equals sorry bg dot visible equals to now let's say set it and play.
so yeah it's fine let's actually give a delay command over here let's give it set timeout inside is inside it let's go and find what should we do yeah function function enter and enter close it comma 400 open it just cut it and paste it now let's try so why have we done this is that uh, because the flame has been displaying uh, after the background color has been shown So yeah, it's proper now. So we don't need it for now. So let's just slash it out. So yeah, and uh, we should not call the function over here. I think uh, the remark has is okay now. So we have to put it inside the if condition game set shoot yeah over here let's just remove this and run it So it's not working. So let's just remove it. So yeah. So yeah, I think we have to end it over here. Now let's just slash this line out. So 
so yeah now the whole program is being done so let's just fill the background in any other color let's fill it in orange color Yeah, I think the exact same blue. This blue is uh, good. So that let's check that whether we can uh, take the blue color, same exact blue color. So let's go to color picker and let's copy this code. RGB code, RGB color for. this let's enter let's check so here is it here it is so red is 16 green is 5 and blue is 46 16 5 and 46 let's give it rgb 16 comma 5 comma 46 now just check it so yeah i think it's good now now let's display the u1 message So for that, let's give it over here, just type text size, should be around 45 or as, yeah 45 and next and if condition if uh, no bullet is equal to equal to equal gate then so yeah eight then text string should be excellent excellent and the next is yeah that's it and the next else if So inside this else we are going to give NO bullet is more than or equal to 11 and then NO bullet is less than or equal to 16 then text yeah text good and the next else if
the fighters are more than or equal to sixteen, then better luck. Next time, let's try running a program. So we are getting an error. Let's sing semicolon. Why do we need a semicolon? Well, let me see what's happening. So the error was I forgot to add a semicolon over here. And uh, after that I have added on one single line. If games after the, you, you note it, you have to put it put it uh, after the draw spread. Over here. Yeah, if game set is equal to end, text size should be in 45. And uh, no, uh, if uh, number of bullets should be 8 or 9, the text should be excellent. And uh, else if, if it is uh, 10 or about 10 and below 16, uh, which is f f below or equal to 16, we have to give it as below or equal to 15. Then the text should be uh, good. And next else if... Uh, if it is above or equal to 16, it should display better luck next time. And there is another one feature in code.org that when you keep a cursor in one, one place and press shift and keep the cursor, press uh, control and keep the cursor in another side and again press control and keep it in a, another point and again press control so that yep. The everywhere the uh, four cursor can, can be displayed. So now I have to give it around. Uh, so the X should be around uh, 175. 175. So I can type at the same time. Next, let me move around. And for the Y, I can just give around. Uh, 245 and when you keep, uh, click keep the mouse cursor in one place and just click other cursors will be deleted now let's oops so yeah here we have to change it to 80 and 25 I forgot and changed it like this now let's run So yeah, here it is displayed. Now we have to add a uh, pretext over here. That uh, your remarks. So for that, let's hit enter. And uh, we can add a text. In double quotes, you were remark, or else we can just do your performance. So now let's test it.
so yeah it's but this text is not visible so let's check what's the yeah we have not given the x and y attributes the x should be 15 and the y should be 2 4 5 the same as the good let's try Yeah, I think we have to reduce the font size of the excellent to 30. Now let's test it. So we have to move the excellent slide right side. So around uh, 145, let's test it. So it's a mistake. Let's keep it in 200. So it's even not fine. 250. So it's fine. Now we have to add this thing. Yeah. So yeah. Now for the better luck next time, the space is not enough. So we have to move it uh, to the next line. For that, we have to change the font size. No font size is enough, I guess. Yeah. Let's keep it inside and another semicolon. I think this will not work. So let give a single quotes oh, yeah, yeah. so we forgot the double quotes and the x position should be 80 and the y position should be 280 sub 285 let's test it so far we should be it should be above 16 bullet So we have to move it slight left side around 15 will be fine I guess. So yeah, it's fine. And next, uh, let's display some emoji according to the thing, uh, the according to the performance. So let's check whether we have any pre-built animations. So and another one thing, where is it?
yeah we can just uh, remove the destroy uh, remark function and we we can just remove this and next uh, we can also remove this yeah and now let's remove this let's add animation let's search for face or emoji no I think we don't have the thing which we need so let's go and google it uh, yeah I think this is awesome let's have this I like it yeah and for good let's keep this And for sad, let's have this. Yeah. Now let's import it. Let's name it. It's already named. Good. Let's remove the extension. So the size is huge for everything. We have to scale it. So first let's create a variable for everything. Variable exc equals create write So the x should be 200 and 130 200 and y should be 130 next 400 sorry let's cube it as 100 100 or as 200 200 will be fine or as 150 150 yeah next let's copy it next rename let's rename it as good and here let's rename it as sad so let's run it now oops you have to set the visibility e x c before that let's set the animation set the animation Excellent.
good next the same for the next thing so the thing is sad yeah and next it's time to set the visibility let's do the same for everything let's rename it as good sad sad yeah now let's we have to do another one thing we over here and let's scale it over there where is it yeah here e s c dot scale equals 0 0.3 EX next over here EX C dot scale equals zero point three same over here sorry this is good and over here sad dot scale equals zero point three so next over here we have to set uh, exc dot set visible Sorry, exc dot visible equals true. Oops, we should not do it over here. I have to cut it and uh, put it over here. Let's also paste it over here and here. And next, let's rename it Good and Sad. Let's try running the program and let's adjust the size, scaling size. So for the excellent, it is fine. I think we have to move the move the performance of the excellence slide down around 260 and uh, over here to 260. Let's try again. So good job, we have to scale it more bigger for good. Where is it? Yeah, good dot visible. Let's try 0 0.5. So it's proper for excellent. Oh, 
So for the good job you have to adjust it. And uh, we have to move it slide down. So we have also have to move the good over the side. I think we can change the size of the animation over here. For the good job, let's take this and select over this and delete it. Yeah, now let's press for good. So we have to move it slight down. For that, it's we have to change the Y position from 150 to 165 will be good, I guess. Or 160. Let's test this now. Nope. Let's try five hundred two hundred. So why is it not changing? Let's check with the attributes over here. So it is named as good and good over here. Let's change it to 400 and let's just try. No, it does not work. I think this is fine. We don't need to change it. So the next thing is we have to set, uh, check for the sad. So yeah, and we have to move the better luck next time, more downwards. So for that, it's over here to 300. And that's it, we have completed and uh, now we have to fix a bug. So that, uh, that uh, when you click mini bullets, uh, then only the last created bullet attacks it. For that, let's uh, create a group. Or here variable bullet group equals new so let's see it's it's equal to create group yeah now over the in the where is it if space hmm, we need to find inside the function play if space dot click let's find it 
surf and surf and surf and surf and surf. I think it's inside the bullet. Yeah, it's over here. So now I have another one doubt. So yeah, okay. Now over here we have to... Where is it? Yeah, here we have to change it. Can we just move it here? Yeah. bullet group dot add bullet so let's run it so yeah we have to change another one thing so where is it yeah, here it is bullet dot is stretching. We have to set it as bullet group dot is stretching. So click control over here, over here. Over here. Over here, over here. Over here or O U P. Let's zoom it in. So here, okay, it's perfect. Over here, let go. Let's click control. Let's so now let's zoom it. Now let's try it. So yeah, now it works properly. And also, another one thing, no, that's it. So the next thing is that uh, if we click the, let's try it. Thus we have a function. Yeah, if we click the uh, mouse button and uh, if we click the mouse button, we have it should uh, it should shoot. Let's try it. We have to go to the function bullet. Where is it? And bullet, yeah, it's here. We have to give a space or and uh, mouse went down left button. Let's try it. Yeah, it works. Now I'm pressing the left button and shooting it. So it works. So next, what next thing what we have to do is just uh, we have to display a message after the game is over. In the, we have to display press space to continue, uh, plus space to restart. And when the when the user plus presses the space, it should uh, restart the game. So let's do that.
so we have to go to the function like I said function draw and inside the function draw if game set is equal to end then we have to perform the action so this time let's do it over here so it should display the text now we have to do it over here let the size be 30 and text the string is press space 2 restart So yeah, and the next is after the space is being clicked, let's first uh, check whether this message is displayed. So the X position should be 60 and the Y position should be 340. 60 comma 340. Let's run it. So we have to move, move it slight left side around here 30. Let's give an exclamatory mark. So yeah, this is fine. And next we have to give the command over here if he went down space then we have to So let's uh, add a set. So let's create a group. So we have to create a group that is enemy. Variable enemy des destroy equals create group. So the thing why we are creating the group is that uh, uh, the enemy's x position will be changed to 500. So uh, we have to des decide that uh, when when the user clicks restart. And uh, enemies uh, again another enemy row will be created. So in order to avoid uh, multiple enemies, which is one in the 500 and the other in the screen, we are just creating a group. So we need to add the enemies inside the group. So enemy des. Oops. DES dot add so that we need to add E and E one. Let's just check the name once. So yeah, E and E D E S. Let's just copy it, paste to paste. Three, paste, four, paste, five,
पेस्ट सिक्स ओप्स दिस इज पेस्ट द सेवन एंड हियर पेस्ट द आई थिंक आई हैव डन समथिंग रॉन्ग या इट्स करेक्ट पेस्ट द सिक्स and here paste seven so yeah now it's done now we have to go to the next step so when space dot click you have to copy this so let's just go to the version before we have pasted the things yeah this version and we have to go down and copy from here to here copy and over here we have to paste i think we don't need it where is it so yeah we we don't need it we can just give us a uh, destroy sorry the group which we want to destroy we can just clear the group enemy group dot clear and next uh, we have to give enemy 2 or 1 what is it enemy 2 we yeah, have to call the function here so oh, just let's run it so we are getting an syntax error cannot read the property of add why are we getting this so we should not get this error so let me just copy so let me just cut and put it be after this once again cut 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 and cut over here to let me paste it so two more six times let us rename it three four five six seven Eight. So we are getting an error once again. Where did we create the group? Yeah, we have create. We are creating the group over here, but in the bullet, we are we are not getting the error. Why is it so? Let's find out. So let me name it, name it as enemy group. And uh, over here, let me rename it as enemy group. 
let me just copy it paste 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 and everywhere we have to paste it so yeah Oops. we are getting the error once again Let's remove it. Enemy group dot at E N E one. So the next thing is we are actually gonna we don't need the group because there is some error so now what we have to do is uh, let me just copy this oh, no need Let's go to the function function draw and over here yeah over uh, where is it in the end function after the space is being clicked enemy group dot clear so let's just remove this and e and e one is it e and e yeah E and E one dot destroy. One dot destroy. Yeah. Let's run it. So we need to change the game state to play. Is it play? Dot game state where would it be defined? Yeah. Shoot. Let's run it again and see if it works. So it does not work. So let's console log. Over here, console log. Game state. Yeah. Let's try it. Now it is in the game state shoot. So now it is in the game state end. And when I click, click space, the game state is not changing. So let's uh, just copy this, cut this, put it over here, and uh, let's do the command game state. 
Oops. Oops. We we have done a mistake. That we have to cut this, and we have to put it inside. Where is it? Here, if game state is equal to end, let's put it now. Let's try. So yeah, now let's press the space. So yeah, and we have to make it uh, invisible. So we have to make the score to zero. So let's go here. Yellow bullet equals zero. Okay. Next, we have to copy this. And uh, paste it. Where is it? Yeah, here. Okay, we have to change it into good. And here, sad. Let's run. So now I'm gonna click space. Yeah. And now there is another one problem. Only seven is visible. So because we have given enemy one dot destroy, just just remove it. So yeah, now it's fine. So we have successfully completed our game and in another one special video I will be showing you how to convert the game uh, website into an app. So now that's it please thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe. Bye let's meet on another video. And uh, uh, the, there will be another 5 minute or 10 minute video in the future about how to convert it into app.